Hello and welcome to Hashtag Cam Book, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member will take an object from the permanent collection, share it with you, and post some questions below. Make sure to tune in at 10 a.m. every day for a new object and a new chat. My name is Summer Cook and I am the exhibition's assistant. Let's get started with our object today. The object that I will be discussing today is a railway engine coffee maker from circa 1828. I chose this object due to my absolute love, um, borderline obsession with coffee, <laughs> and my appreciation of decorative arts, specifically unique silver designs. Although this has an unknown maker, there are many clues as to which time period that this particular object come from. Uh, most notably how trains were all the rage at the time. Uh, long before paper cups and single-serve plastic pods, uh, coffee was more of a fine dining experience. Traditionally, it was served from silver pitchers. Um, afternoon coffee was, in a sense, almost like a Michelin star experience in comparison to what we do today in terms of chugging copious amounts at our desk or in the car on the go. This unusual coffee maker from the late 1820s was designed with a really fun and decorative twist compared to a standard coffee pot. In the early 19th century, uh, the steam locomotive was moving countries forward during the Industrial Revolution and tracks were being laid across the United States and all around the world. So there was this fascination with these large vessels um, and how powerful they were. And it was all the rage for decorative elements at the time to be made to replicate kind of small versions of them. There's other examples of these types of railway coffee makers. Um, they can be found in ceramic ware, such as these ones, patented by the French-Italian designer J.B. Tosselli. When we come back to our particular object here in the art museum's collection, it was built to resemble a fully functioning locomotive. It was complete with a central hot water compartment, a storage box, dispenser, and a spigot that can be all fully utilized. So back in 2018, our objects conservator, Kelly Rechtenwald, brought this into the lab for an x-ray um, imaging scan. And as you can see in these side-by-side -side comparison photos, um, she discovered all sorts of internal parts that weren't actually obvious from the outside. The imaging also indicated that this particular machine would never brew coffee again due to calcified deposits blocking the tubes and preventing it from functioning. So the railway engine is actually set upon a single track, um, silver as well, and it is possible to connect additional tracks. So if you can have more than one underneath of the machine and kind of lay them horizontally side by side, just imagine that the coffee pot can travel maybe from one side of the large dining table to the next, serving guests as it moves along. So it was designed to look the part, but also kind of perform the journey from, you know, one end of the table to the other, which is a really, to me, a really fun and unique kind of experience. That Just a few questions to wrap up our cam look. Uh, what sort of people do you think own these type of novelty objects, you know, collectors or everyday people or maybe the upper class? Were they similar in fashion where kind of the excitement surrounding all of these unique pieces kind of fades? Or was this a type of coffee maker truly, you know, gonna stand for everyday use? And also, do you have any other examples of everyday use objects around the house that take on a unique flair such as this? I would love to see some in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining in for today's hashtag cam look. I hope you enjoyed our railway engine coffee maker.